Okay, people. So now I'm in my sewing room. I have somewhat cleared it out. Right? So now I can get the nuts in the mail. Hold on a minute. Something's going on. Oops. Should have left it alone, people. <laughs> okay, try this again. Anyway, it is... Oh, God. I think it's February 3rd. February 3rd, 2019. I really wanted to dress up for this video, people. You know? Because I never really ever get to dress up. <laughs> What's this? This is an old wig that's been around for eons. I don't even know where it came from, honestly. Alright. So, I've always wanted to try it. <laughs> for fun. For fun, people. Just for fun, because the videos that I do and I talk about, many of them are not what I want to be doing. Okay? I shouldn't have to be talking about my daughter's death nine months after the fact and be completely in the dark with a lot of things. Never mind everything else I do around that issue besides just talking. Right? And it's a pretty wig. If I was to wear a wig and wanted to be a blonde, I think this would be one of them. All right? But I just, I wanted to, uh, you know, put on a different top with some earrings and you know, put my hair in a ponytail and maybe a little bit of eyeshadow if I can do the line straight. Because you have to remember, if I'm putting, if I'm putting makeup on my face, I have to kind of go like this. <laughs> it doesn't work, <laughs> right? It's very hard for me to put underline, you know, pencil lining underneath my eyes, <laughs> right? Just to have a little bit of makeup, you know. Let's do it right now. <laughs> not, not my style. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like me, people. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm starting to look like a drag queen. <laughs> Serious. So, anyway. Not what I had in mind, like, for my next video, but... I'm starting to get ready to pack up the nuts, right? <laughs> and, uh... It's gonna take me a couple of weeks, because I have to budget around it, because I've got three parcels at least going out, right? One to Brazil, one to Missouri, and one to Kitimat with nuts. Nuts that can grow into trees, people. So now that my sewing table is off, I did say that once I clear off my sewing table, I'll be able to start working on that. So anyway, I'm going to give one person a teapot. <laughs> right. Uh... Uh, I told her to look it up. I said it might be worth something. I'm not going to look it up, people. It's real China, though. Right? When you give away something, I already offered to give it away, right? So, that's one thing that's going to go in a box. With some nuts. 
Is it, that one's going to kill him at. And then I'm just now going to basically show you what I've done in my sewing room. Here is my paper. To start the charts. So I'm going to start working on one today. Or two. Two. Right? So I can start listing where I'm at with Uncle John in that situation and whatnot. Right? And then, you know, I gotta do some sewing, but little repairs, you know, putting in elastics, for example. Mamari doesn't need them yet, <coughs> but these are an old pair of, well, they're not that old. The fleece is very heavy, actually. It's very thick, so they're good. Oh, I didn't notice that, but it fixed the crotch. But all you have to do, I've already picked out the elastic. You can see that, and just run another one in, and then Amari will fit that in a year and a half, two years from now or so. Right. I have a couple of other pairs of pants like that. Just miscellaneous little odds and ends. I just left them behind. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'll get some time to do it. I mean, it's been only sitting there for the last eight years, so it's hard to say. <laughs> <coughs> I want to make some do-rags. <coughs> I'm going to send them off to New York once I get those done, but that's not going to happen for a couple of months because I have to take care of all this other stuff first, right? Because, you know, you know how it goes, people, right? So here, I'm just going to show you where I'm at. Hold on. So, as you can see, the sewing table is basically cleared off right. this I'm, I'm using still with the babies so I'll move that and got this pretty much all done right I mean I don't have a very big sewing room right here's the thing about death people when I die poof I will be gone just like Shemay Poof, she was gone. And if you notice his stuff, none of it will move. <laughs> It'll all be here when my kids come in here and realize that I am not around anymore. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this outfit here needs to be altered. Right, there's some fabric I'll make do rags with. Right. So that's pretty much it in terms of my sewing room. <laughs> right, but it's a start. Right, it's better than what it was. Right. So I suspect over the next couple of weeks. These uh, nuts will be out in the mail. This is the box for Missouri. I'm giving that person a collection box. Do you see? For uh, fire department. Up in the boonies. I told her, you don't know until you try. I told her I'd put a $20 bill in it. A $20 Canadian bill. So, when that's ready to go, that will go. And then I added in some, some little pebble pouches. Alright, you can see. And then, yeah. Alright, for bayou corn up in Louisiana toss that pebble, let it ripple the water, 
And then before you know it, all right. So I've got two boxes ready to go almost. There's one. I found a box for that teapot today. And then the nuts from Brazil will just go in a, in a basically in an envelope, right? 